Hey guys, this is Jason with Mount Baker Foundry, and today we're back. We're gonna we're gonna mold and pour a big rudder out of manganese bronze. And this is our box. You can see the pattern in there. We've got the bottom half of the mold packed, called the drag. So we have our wooden box, packed it with sand on the bottom. So the sand has taken the shape of the pattern in the bottom half. And then we're gonna pack sand on the top half here. And then we're gonna take the box apart, pull the pattern out, put the box together, and we're gonna pour manganese bronze in there and cast that rudder. So we shake a little bit of parting on the pattern to help the, the sand not stick to it. And then we're going to riddle some, some spice on there. Now we put our two risers down and we've capped them so when we, when we uh, shake our spice on it doesn't fill up the riser with a bunch of sand. But these are so uh, when the material is cooling and shrinking, it shrinks from the risers instead of from the part here. And so you always want your riser high and, and big so when the shrinking takes place, it, it sucks out of the riser. Now he's got a little screen, he's shaking his spice over it. And he's screening it out so he gets a fairly nice finish on it. And you can see down here where the shaft is. They build the shaft into the pattern. And so it's going to leave a, a, a spot for us to lay our shaft. Now he's shoveling his sand into the, into the mold there. And this is uh, like an olivine sand. And it gets mixed with bentonite clay. So when you compress it, it holds its shape. And that's why we can pack the, the molds and they hold their shape when you take the pattern out. And here's the finished mold. We're going to pour our metal in there. There's our two risers. We have the pattern in there still. We're going to move it over under the crane so we can pour it with the crane. And uh, we'll take the pattern out there because when you move it, you want to keep that shape, and the pattern's a good way to do that. Here's our crucible down in our little induction furnace. And this is uh, number 80 crucible. We got it full of ingot. You can see it's starting to heat up down there. We'll come back and take a look when it's molten. But right over here, here's our mold. And we've split the mold, we've taken our pattern out. Right here is where he's going to pour the metal in. It's going to run down along here and he's gated in one, two, three places. So it's going to fill up this channel and run into the gates and then just fill up our pattern. And this is another little gate that goes up and matches with our riser there right here. We'll lay the shaft right down in the slot there and it'll protrude into the mold there about two or three inches. And the brass will cover the shaft. And then we can shake it out and we'll have our rudder. All right, now we got our post in there and we're ready to close up the box. Okay, it's right before we're about to get a full pot here. And you can see the cutoff gates and sprues. We can recycle everything in our process. 
so none of the material gets wasted even if we screw up. So it's getting up to temperature now. We may add a couple more ingots to it to get it pretty full. And then we'll get it up to temperature and we'll pour it. Shakeout pile. And we'll crack this guy open and see what it looks like. So we just shook out our rudder and it's still smoking hot. We're going to let it cool down this afternoon and we'll uh, start working on it tomorrow. But it's got a little different coloration on the surface, but it's all nice and smooth. That'll come out with a little bit of buffing. And uh, so the next step is to 
to cut off the excess, this stuff here, that riser, that riser, and uh, we'll buff it out and we'll get her polished up and looking like a nice brand new cast rudder. I took the rudder and I uh, cut all the, the gates off and the risers off with the bandsaw. It actually is upside down, but there was a, a riser on the other side, so I cut that all off. So now we have our rudder part, and I'm going to clean it up uh, a little bit with a hand sander and a grinder. And we'll put a nice polish on it, and take a look when it's done. And here's our finished product. This rudder here is the one that we molded and cast in our video. But I put a couple more rudders out here to show you guys that really we can cast pretty much any shape uh, that our customer needs. And uh, if you guys are interested in getting anything cast, uh, please let us know. We can pretty much do uh, all non-ferrous as well as most ferrous, including stainless steel and manganese steel and um, cast iron, stuff like that. So um, we have pattern makers available as well. So if you're interested in having something cast, let us know. You can give us a call or send us an email, all of which is in the description below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.